Hey guys, we are back for the same place, back for one more time. Laptop has a laptop has enough resistance, and right now he he off and off that. Do one more recording, and that's it. Then don't forget to like. See you guys very. Okay, don't forget like, comment, subscribe, guys. We're back very soon. Wonder how the horse Yeah. Nice stop, y'all. You can hear with level is level 34, just like this. Nice. Nice on both sides. It's probably the other one that's just in the same Got him. Hmm. Oh, it took three minutes. It's only five minutes or something. Friday. Yay. That's veganization, all right. Definitely stronger than that headless lump of armor. I beg your pardon. Not you. Actually, that hawk is Griffin, my one and only friend. <laughs> A damned Therian. So that's what Tabitha meant when she said we'd find out shortly. But your highness, wow. why do you have a Therian? It's like I said, Griffin has been my dear friend ever since I was a child. Even if he's a Therian now, that hasn't changed. So you knew you were helping a Therian escape. What are you plotting? 
<sighs> I have no plots or schemes. I just want Griffin to be free. I guess we shouldn't be surprised. The crown prince and future king, he's gonna do whatever he likes. <laughs> I suppose I am at that. But if I am, it's the first time I've ever been allowed a choice of my own. When you're a prince, you're not a person. You're an institution, one designed to serve the state and its people. Say, for instance, you're doing your law studies and your back suddenly itches. What do you do? I mean, I'd scratch it. Who wouldn't? When I did that, my tutor gave me a whipping so hard the blood ran down my back. The reason being that I prioritized a personal feeling, that is to say my itch, over my studies in service of the state. Uh. Seeing Griffin lay claim to the skies, let me imagine my own freedom. It was my lone solace over the years. But then, he turned out to be responsive to Inoma's power. I take it the Midgand royal family is well aware that the Abbey is creating Therians? Of course. How could we not? The kingdom offers unequivocal support to Shepard Artorius's vision of reason and will. Even so, if there was one thing I could never permit, it was seeing Griffin locked up and unable to fly. Never. Never. I tricked the exorcist on guard and disabled the barrier. But then Griffin attacked the exorcist and killed him. That's why you said you could never go back. Eh, they can overlook a single dead exorcist. But with Etherian removed, malevolence will engulf the capital. I knew full well what I was doing. And yet... I couldn't watch my friend's life be stripped away. Your Highness. He chose a single bird over the world. Why do you think that birds fly? That's what Lord Artorius asked me. My anatomy book says birds can fly because their bones are light and their wing muscles are enormously strong. Birds fly because a bird that cannot fly is no bird at all. That's what I think. I understand now. As long as you remain on this island, you may do as you please. But if you try to escape, I'll kill you. That should work. This way we'll have him on hand if we ever need a hostage. Understood. I appreciate you letting Griffin and me stay here. Well, now that that's taken care of, let's build ourselves a hideout. Hell yeah. <laughs> this is our hideout now, I think. It basically will be hideout, you will get you stuff like that. This boss basically a bunch of cutscenes and stuff too. Cats are basically just a it's a tower to yeah, okay. hey, them. How to build up, cutscenes, you know stuff like is? that. Wasn't she just playing with you? Not that long. Yeah. Then she left. I'm worried because she looked pretty sad. Can you go find her? Why me? All right, all right, fine. Just don't cry on me, okay? Yeah, this basically talking, talking most. Please answer. Huh. Take a lot of time the most interesting interpretation. <laughs> what do you make of this part here, then? Hmm. Well, if you pronounce it Loney Kyle, then it'd mean Midrith, which probably isn't right. Maybe Muse Mila? Well, that would make this passage read, Porn'ges are nummy. Uh, okay, yeah, that's not right either. <laughs> What's wrong, Velvet? Have you seen Eleanor? No, I haven't. Sorry, I know I'm supposed to watch her. Just read somewhere where there's more light. You'll hurt your eyes like this. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. She's one more thing. Of your life. Hey, Rokuro, have you seen Eleanor? Uh, probably. I don't know. 
Bit drunk. Just try not to go overboard. But man, are we a bunch of screw ups or what? I mean, we've kidnapped a prince now. They gotta have laws against that. Broke out of prison, flattened Helibes, tried to assassinate a shepherd. Hey, how many infractions do you think we're on the hook for? Pardon me if I don't stop and count. If you don't like it, nobody's forcing you to tag along. No. I still haven't repaid my debt to you. You say that, but you really just want to beat Shigure, don't you? Well, to me, they're both connected. It's a long story, but I can tell you if you... I'll pass. Well, join me for a drink then? Can't. I'm 19. Gameplay fun, I'll see. Well, what time was we'll basically have like 20 sort of. The place completely cleared the demons, so no more hey, demons are fighting. You got any so. idea where Eleanor is? No, sorry. I was having a meeting with Benwick and the crew about our search for Eifried. Are you sure you're okay with putting that off? At this point, the Abbey doesn't have much reason to keep him alive. Wouldn't you rather look for him than Therians? I know time is a factor, but we still don't have any decent leads. I think we need to stir up the Abbey and see what shakes loose. And who better to do that than you? So this works for both of us, then? Never fear. I'm still acting out of self-interest. Besides, Eifried won't die so easily. He's a strong man. It'd take a lot to bring him down. Yeah. Yeah. I've never seen him flinch from a storm, no matter how choppy the seas. Where angels fear to tread, as they say. <laughs> Probably some of that as well. Yep. It's kind of nice on this magic farm. I'm going to play down this way, honestly. Hey, any idea where Eleanor went? How should I know? Should I'm too know? busy to spare any time worrying about anyone else. You look pretty distinctly unoccupied to me right now. Right! I'm busy being unoccupied. You're... what? It's simple. When you have free time, it means you're busy trying to avoid having any business to do. You're too weird for this world, Mogulu. Says the woman with the world's blandest personality. I always figured you'd be the type to take off as soon as things got hairy. So what keeps you here? I am utterly, completely, totally, wholly devoid of anything else to do. Which is to say I'm... Unoccupied. Right! Now you get it! Besides, I have to stick around to see how our bet turns out. Don't I? Don't I? It completely explains this whole completely from it. It's pretty nice drink from you, honestly. And we can waste bombs in place for a long, long time. But yeah, I'm pretty good. Yeah. I can't probably remember the words and I see some more that I need to find it. I need to find it on the I'm calling it a combo counter for this. Let's see if I can see the outside room by the locks. Thank you. 
So yeah, it's been pretty fun honestly, minus one like that. Job of fun of the game. Maybe if they were one for now. They were enough. They have a game plan on the series, then the brand new engine. It's a very different, but I probably can use it to help with something works. Probably the same story, so I would think it would be one. I would say I will mess with the fake one. But you also will mess with the one that you can do, but not fake ones because it's probably one of the fake ones at all. Yeah, it's the big ones can have other things, like lemon, you know, make those dots class. Wow, see, why are you all so small? 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 Now we must send to the window. Now we will send to cells down below. Cells down below. There you are, Eleanor. Come on, is worried about you. You actually came looking for me? Can't say no to a crying child. Indeed. Oh. Me she home, may be a fairy so now, sorry. but deep down, she's still oh, yeah, a lonely that's... little girl. I mean, that's something so I've come that's to realize sorry. in traveling with you all. Wretched demons and Therians, even the Malachim who I'd only thought of as tools, they all live and think as humanly as the rest of us. Mm. I was so clueless. I didn't know what demon blight really was, and really what the Abbey was doing. Through it all, I... I knew nothing beyond blind belief in whatever I was taught. Ignorance is bliss, as they say. The coward's path is not that of an exorcist. They may say, I didn't know anything, so I can't be blamed. I can't... I can't live like that. I think I'll stay here a little longer to cool my head off. Please tell Kamalana I'm alright. Don't stay out too long. The sea breeze can get cold. Thank you. Don't get the wrong idea. If you got sick or something, Kamalana and Lafisa would worry. That's all. This is where we slowly came from. So we become more and more human slowly. I mean, before I talk to them about the play race call, but probably talk about how I sleep. Kind of, I can't worry, I'm kind of sorry about that, just probably the whole. Oh no, sorry about that. You're playing CK, but I think. I have something to say. There's something I've been hiding I've been until hiding. now. I've been acting undercover on a special mission for Lord Artorius. I was to watch over the Malik Lafayette and bring him to Abbey Headquarters. So vital was the mission. I was to do whatever it took, even kill my fellow exorcists. You were gonna take me to them. I'm sorry for deceiving you, Lafayette. Originally, I was going to get you to lower your guard, then take you in. However. I no longer intend on following the Abbey's orders. You're turning your back on Artorius? No. 
I still believe in the sincerity of Lord Artorius, that the world he seeks is one that will benefit all humankind. But nevertheless, I simply cannot bring myself to condone the methods he has chosen to achieve that vision. So... I will help you protect the Therians until I discover the answer I seek. Eleanor! I want to live a life that I don't have to be ashamed of. And to do that, I have to learn the truth for myself. <laughs> so, you live by your emotions after all. Maybe you found your own creed. Welcome to our wonderful world of wickedness. Don't equate us! To act in opposition of one's feelings is to act opposed to reason. You never make things simple, do you? You should be glad I don't. Yeah, after all, she's my vessel. Yes, yes. So, I think our next order of business is to find ourselves another Theria. Well, that's the extent of my insight. Anyone got any actual leads? What if we had Eleanor swipe some intel mm -hmm. on them from the Abbey? That could work. I don't know. It wouldn't work. Officially, the Abbey still considers her a traitor. So who would leak anything to her? Yeah. Besides, we can't put Lafayette in danger like that. And anyway, Eleanor's terrible at being a spy. Ungracious, yeah, it's but accurate. You know that special underground cell from yesterday? I want to go back there. I want to go back there. There's something I want to try out. I want to try out. All right, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Go. I must offer you an apology. What for? What for? For spying. I was plotting to take you back to the Abbey. I am truly sorry. It was your mission, wasn't it? Somehow I think I always knew. You... you did? Call it a hunch. Besides, Velvet was really suspicious of you. Whenever you feel you're doing something wrong, you start to sweat a lot. It seemed odd. How long have you known? Ever since you became a vessel for me. I think Velvet knew too. That's quite a shock. I failed completely in my role as a spy. It's pathetic. Shameful, really. Well, I think it says something good about you. Huh? Someone who can't lie well seems like a better person than someone who has an easy time of it. Thank you, Luffy said. I think you're the better person here. I wouldn't go that far. Hmm? What are you doing here, I was hoping you'd let me join you! We're in the middle of something important. Please leave us be for now. I'll be quiet. Just let me hang around, all right? Afraid not. <laughs> Madam Eleanor is a meanie head. She's a what? She's a what? Luffy said. Thank you. I hope we can stay friends. I hope so too, Eleanor. Hey, Bianca, nice. I have a question for you. I know Mogilu likes to call herself a witch and all that, but what is she really? The obvious guess would be that she's an exorcist, but I don't think I ever saw her name in the roster. That's not surprising! She is indeed a bona fide dark witch! I should know! I saw one night just how scary she can be! It's enough to keep you awake at night. Oh. It was near the crater of a volcano, above the bubbling magma sat a huge cauldron. Inside the cauldron, blood red liquid stickily simmered, boiling in the hellfire heat. When droplets splattered onto Miss Mogilu's cheeks, she just cackled and licked it off. And she kept the cauldron boiling for three days and three nights. What was she making? Strawberry jam. What? what? What's scary about that? I was just getting to the scary part. Instead of using sugar, she put in soy sauce, cooking wine, and liquor. Soy sauce and strawberries? Is that normal? You wouldn't 
think so, but that contrast in sweetness, sourness, and saltiness actually makes it taste great. Not that someone like you would understand the appeal. You have to have a refined palate like mine to appreciate it. Wait, I've heard of that. You can boil things in soy sauce and wine to preserve them. When you do it with strawberries, it's called strawberry soup. That's right! Actually, strawberry soup has sea urchin and abalone, not strawberries. It's just called that because the sea urchin plumps up like berries. And it's not preserved either. Really? Well, I had no idea! Wow, I really liked it too! I wonder if the reason she's never made it for me again is because she realized the mix-up! Now that I think about it, that's not the only thing I like that she made one time. Like durian jellies and the candied sweet fish, too. I think I see what's going on here. What does the food she's made more than once taste like? It's just normal stuff, like what you guys always have. Only a truly scary witch could hide that much cooking talent behind such plain tasting food with no one the wiser. <laughs> okay, that was weird. I know this smell. Yeah, it's Prince Percival's fragrant wood perfume. When I told him I'd never smelled it before, he put a little on my sleeve to try it out. I love the smell of the royal family's perfume. It's distinct, but not overpowering. It's made from Fandaria trees, conifers that grow in a snowy land. I've noticed that you and Velvet and Mogilu smell nice too. Do you all wear the same perfume? We do? We don't use that stuff, but maybe you're smelling the soap we use. Oh, can only the royal family wear fragrant wood? No. Some fragrances, including the Fandaria scented ones, only the royal family can use. But most don't have any such restriction. If they all smell so good on humans, why doesn't everyone use them? You know, I've never thought about that. Why do you think that is, Aizen? It's a bit complicated. To explain it right, explain I'd it have right. to start with the history of bathing history in Midgand. What? A few hundred years ago, people believed they would die if they took a bath. <laughs> they were so terrified of baths that they wouldn't even go near one. I can't believe people would be scared of taking a bath. Why would that even happen? Well, at the time, a deadly plague was running rampant, and people thought that it could be transmitted through bath water. Bear in mind that this was all before we had proper plumbing or techniques to purify water. People couldn't just bathe anywhere. Sewers like the one we used to sneak through Logris are a fairly recent construction, only around a century old. Some people even thought oh, bathing at all was unhygienic. Right. As bathing went out of style, the royal family started to use these fragrant woods. Covering up their bad smell with a good one. Yep. As a result, their perfumes used to be far more potent, to the point where you couldn't even tell if it smelled good anymore. But nowadays, nobody actually believes that bathing can make you sick, right? As civilization advanced, plumbing became widespread, and baths themselves became much cleaner fixtures than they used to be. And the fragrant woods fell out of favor because they were no longer necessary, right? To the contrary. As the people gained prosperity, the perfumes became a popular display of wealth. The newfound popularity didn't last long, however, thanks to the propagation of a new disease. One that didn't transmit through baths. Demon blight, you mean? With the rise of demon attacks, yep. life outside the city walls became increasingly difficult. With fragrant woods now harder to come by, the perfumes once again became the domain of royalty. I guess that means that no. fragrant woods share a long and complicated history with plagues. To cover up the truth of malevolence, the powers that be spread rumors of a demon plague, continuing their time-honored tradition of covering up one stink with another. So, what do you think of the perfume? Do you like it? Yeah, it smells nice. But I think I like the smell of soap better. Huh? Yeah. This island is so amazing! It's far away from any other people and has so much hidden stuff underground! It's such a perfect hideout! Just thinking about it makes me so excited to be here! Yeah, I guess. What's wrong? You were so excited to be here before! Don't be such a drag, Poppy Sands! It's just that this used to be a prison. People were brought here to suffer. If you're worried about how I feel, don't be. 
If I really hated this place, I wouldn't have made it my base. Hell, I was imprisoned here too, but now it's the secret fort I always dreamed of. I still haven't forgiven the guard who ate all those Maron glaces I was sent. I'll let the past be the past. What part of secret fort are you not getting? Yeah. But it can't all be just for fun and games here either. In order to maximize the success of our future battles, we need to maintain and improve this base going forward. This place seems sturdy as it is. Does it really need more work put into it? Nonsense. This place was built to specialize in holding prisoners. We can make it better suit our needs. What are you proposing exactly? Well, I think we need to start with smoke screen generators. They'll be effective against intruders unfamiliar with the layout. What? Of course, afterwards we'll have to clean up all the soot, but still. No thanks. I think we need something to put out fires. The fire at Helavis was really scary. We have Molochim like you who could use water arts, though. If anything happens, you can just put it out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I guess that's true. What we really need are some secret underground tunnels. If oh, things great. get too hairy here, we'll need an underground escape route. We can put in hidden doors and even some fake ones to trick the enemy too. We have two separate docks. That's good enough. No enemy is going to attack without taking both docks into consideration. That's why we need to build underground tunnels before anything else. Oh, great. We're on an island. You know, surrounded by water. Where would these tunnels even lead to? Isn't it obvious? We'll dig underneath the sea to another uninhabited oh island my nearby. God. But there are no other islands nearby. If it means getting my tunnels, I'll build an island too. <laughs> oh my god. Are you listening to what you're saying? <laughs> it sounds like he's daydreaming to me. And what's wrong with having some dreams? This is a great opportunity we have here. <laughs> you guys just don't get it. It's okay. I get where you're coming from. But they'll never understand. You might as well save your breath. Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> Look, I have been saving. <laughs> Save, so can I collect guys like that now too? See you then. Okay, I 